It's another glorious sunny day here in Skipton, but it is a little bit cold, so I've put my coat on. Um, the camera, is it, is it playing tricks with you? The light behind you, is it flashing or has it failed? Well, we think it's failed, or certainly the LED driver in there has failed. And because it's a cold day, that's when you need to be working outside. And uh, a little challenge for us today, but challenges create opportunity. So it's an uh, opportunity for us to look at this new floodlight from Ansel and it's also an opportunity for some personal development for Rick. So I'm going to go in the workshop where it's nice and warm and look at this. And Rick's going to fit it to the building. I have done him a favour. I have in the workshop already wired it. So Rick, it's over to you. Well, thank you. I'll see you later. Stick around to the end of the video and you'll see how we deal with these rusty self-tapping screws. Really? There's a lot of great design features gone into this new Telic fitting from Ansel and the, probably the best way to sum them all up is flexibility and let's think about that word flex because the first thing you'll notice there's no flexible cable attached to the unit. Now at first that might seem a little bit odd because lots of LED fittings are supplied with a cable attached but you sometimes find that is incredibly short. I've seen examples where that's down to 300 millimeters and then the first thing you need to do is provide a junction box and then terminate a cable into that, which all adds expense to the installation. Uh, you'll see on the installation that Rick's currently on with, the connection is on the other side of the wall. So we've been able to quickly connect a few meters of the cable that we need to get back to that junction box. Terminating inside the fixture itself, remove the four screws and they are captive. And then once you're inside, you can bring the cable through the cable gland and terminate into the screwless terminal blocks. Another great feature with this junction box arrangement is it's easy to convert any of the fixtures in the range to PIR operation. Simply swap this cap for one with the PIR sensor, remove the jumper link and plug in, and then the conversion's done. The design features on this Telic fixture keep on giving, and when it comes to loop in and loop out wiring, we're not disappointed there. There's two cable glands on the back of the fixture. One of them is blanked off normally, but by removing the bung that's in there, it's then possible to wire using the screwless terminal blocks to another fixture. The other advantage is once we've converted one to PIR version, we've also got a switched live output that can be used from the main fixture to trigger a remote fixture that's possibly located on another side of the building. Also under the cover, there's a switch that allows you to set the color temperature of either 3000, 4000, or 6000 degrees Kelvin. So that covers most installation requirements, possibly cool white for more commercially focused projects, or if you're in hospitality or residential, you may prefer 3000 degrees Kelvin. The color rendering of the fixture is RA80 with an efficiency of up to 98 lumens per watt and a lamp life of 60,000 hours to 70% lumen maintenance. All of those design features allow you to cover a vast range of applications with carrying a minimum amount of stock. All you have to do is select the wattage, which can be either 10, 20, 30, or 50 watts. We're currently in the process of installing the 50 watt version, which allows you to have a lumen outputs from between 900 and 4,600 in the 4,000 color temperature. Installation features continue with the bracket, which you can mount to the wall without having to remove it from the fixture. You can get easy access to the mounting points, and then the angle is set with the Allen head adjustment on the side. The units have an impact rating of IK06 with this tough plastic lens on the front and an IP65 uh, environmental rating. And a key to help maintain that is this little breather vent underneath here that allows the air inside the fixture to expand and contract with temperature. So this prevents moisture buildup inside the fixture. And here's our top tip when it comes to fixing to thin sheet material like this building cladding. We use these threaded inserts that provide a very secure fixing, but also easy for future maintenance. That was a pretty straightforward install using the great design features in the Telic fixture. If you'd like to see more fixtures from Ansel, particularly street lighting, since we're thinking about dark, check out this video here.